Good morning. This is Pastor Omar broadcasting to you live from uh, my backyard sanctuary where I sit and meditate and pray and I uh, just enjoy my pond. The fish are there. I don't know if you can see one or two of them are there. They're uh, coming out and trying to grab a little bit of food this morning. I wanted to come. Thank you. Welcome. Julio Samuel. Good to see you, Julio Samuel. I'm glad you're here. This is Pastor Omar from live from Los Angeles in my backyard sanctuary. Space Trooper, good to see you there. I'm glad to see you. Um, today's subject will be, this is the day and now is the time. And uh, I'm coming to you from my backyard, uh, backyard sanctuary uh, where I have my pond and my fish and everything going on. Hey, Shomo, good to see you. I'm so glad you joined today. You joined on a great day. This is the day and now is the time is my subject. This is Pastor Omar from Los Angeles. They call me Pastor O. Love the little, love the title. Thank you. I'm glad you love the title. And it's important. The title is very significant because this is the day. I'm taking this title, of course, from uh, the ancient Hebrew scripture from um, Psalm 118, uh, Psalm 118, verse number 24. This is the day. Uh, good to see you, Gore. Good to see you, D. Gore 06 joined. I'm so glad you're here. We're talking about this is the day and now is the time. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad coming from my backyard sanctuary. I am a proactive agent of change who communicates that others might be freed, others might be healed and appreciated. Good to see you, Zach. Good to see you, Zahana. I would like this is going to work out even better if you guys uh, communicate with me, interact with me in terms of writing something up, let me know what's going on. Good. Why is this a day? That's a very important thing. This is the day because you're here. This is the day because God created it. I'm taking it from Psalm 119, uh, 118. That was a powerful psalm. Where it said there, it starts off with saying something like this. It says, uh, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. We realize that this is the good day that we have, uh, the only day, the right now day. I want to read a quote from you and then, I, uh, uh, um, then I'll turn the camera to me. I want you to hear this quote. I got this from my morning reading. Good, George. Good story. Good to see you. This is the day. And this is why this is the day. Have no fear of tomorrow. Enjoy today. Refuse to carry the corpse of a mistaken yesterday. What untold misery is suffered through the burden imposed by our yesterdays and the bitter prospects of our tomorrows. The good of the present day is too often sandwiched between these two impossible situations, yesterday and tomorrow. The day in which we live is sufficient. This, the reason why the day is so important because you're here. Yesterday is gone. Forget about all that stuff. The drama, the mistakes, the crazy stuff is over. It's done. Now it's time for us to realize and recognize that today is the day and tomorrow is gone. I am, so I guess you mean where am I? Um, that's in Cincio. I'm in Los Angeles right now in Cincio. That's where I am. I'm in my backyard, in my, my backyard pond. And I'm, I'm talking about this being the day. You know, so many times we forget about um, today. We always so busy on what tomorrow is going to be. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow is in the future. Tomorrow is in the future. And guess what? It's not really real at all. And yesterday, that's gone. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get a better camera. Go, keep going on. I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, tomorrow is um, gone. Today is the only day that's important. So r the right now moment. This is the day that God created for us. This is the day that we have, I mean, it's right here in front of us. And so many people are so focused on past stuff, yesterday's stuff, or what's going to happen in the future, that they miss out on what's happening right now, right in this present moment. And I just came to share with you, if you I hope that you would do this. One thing I hope that you would do, no matter what, go find an ancient scripture somewhere and look at Psalm 118. Just read it to yourself and read it out loud. What is the moment? The moment is now. Thank you so much, in a sense. The moment is right now. This is the right now moment. This is the moment that you have. In fact, this is the moment that me and you are connecting. This is the moment that we are saying, hey, man, we're forgetting all that stuff that's behind. So what? You made a mistake. So what? You lost your job. So what? You had some crazy stuff that happened in the past. It's gone. Learn from it. Pick up from that mistake and keep it moving because the right now moment is right now. That's why I came out of my little sanctuary. I was quiet in my meditation, but I said, man, I got to share this with people. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day of change. 
thing. Today, you're going to start something new today, right now, in this moment that you have never done before. You're going to start believing with the faith of God. You're going to start moving and saying, you know what, I can do this. Can you say that with me? I can do this. I can write that book. I can start that business. I can be the creative being that God created me to be. I can do this. And man, that's, that's all we've ever been asked to do is to be you. So many people are trying to be somebody else. Show me something. Yeah, I know you're right. Show me something. So many people are trying to be somebody else. They're trying to do something else. Show, show me something. But they're not being themselves. Thank you for the love. I appreciate that. They're not being who they are. You got to embrace who you are. God is doing a great thing in your life. God got some work there, some people that only you can talk to. Do you know that only certain people can talk to certain people? According to ancient scripture, they say God had to come down into human form in order to talk to people. So this only this only the person that you are, you're the only person that can reach that person. You're the only person that can actually talk to your mother or your family member because it's all it's all about the right now moment. It's all about the love that we are moving with. So I just wanna came to tell you today, today is your day. Right now is that moment. We have to get busy on what God has for us to do today and stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop sitting up there. Listen, I, I want to say this to you. A lot of times I've been hearing about people, uh, I'm calling them witchcraft prayers. They pray a prayer, oh God help me, oh God help me, oh God help me. And you know what? They do nothing. They don't do anything to try to make it happen. They say they want a job. They don't write a resume. They don't go out. They don't try. To, they say they want, to, uh, they want to start a business, but they never start. They're just doing something crazy. And I, I, I thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that uh, positive word. I'm glad to hear that. And I just want to share with you because cause I want us to get out of being stuck. Some people are stuck. We're depending on God to do what he said only you can do. Only you can get up and write that resume. Only you can go to that interview. God can't do that. Now, he can help you. He can facilitate that for you. Good to see you, CH Apparel. I'm so glad you joined. God can help you and can facilitate for you, but only you can do it. Today, I decided I said, I'm just going to be me. Today I'm representing, I don't know if you see my shirt today, I'm representing my alma mater, Morgan State University. That's the school I went to. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. I graduated from there. I went to John Hopkins. I went to um, University of Maryland. I went to uh, several schools, but at Howard University too, but I graduated from Morgan State University. So I'm just representing, I'm just being me today. And part about being me today is a hey, good to see you, Black Arm, I think uh, Black Ram, Black Ram, all right, cool, Ram in the bush. I'm glad to see you, Black Ram. Listen. Today we're talking about today is the day and now is the time. You know in your heart that God is speaking to you about something that you ought to do. And the fact of the matter is, thank you. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. Look, uh, you got to realize that um, Alan, I guess that's you, Ale, I'm glad you think I'm, I look intelligent. Pre pre appreciate that. But what I'm trying to share with you today is very important. Listen, let's not get caught up on yesterday. Yesterday is gone. That lover is gone. That, that relationship is, is finished. That old job is done. The old successes, even the successes, we had some great, somebody had a great day yesterday. Yay, that was good. But that day is gone. What are we going to do today? What's going to be the right now moment? I'm so glad that you came. This is Pastor Omar Muhammad. I am a proactive agent of change who lives and communicates so that others might be able to be liberated, healed, and appreciated. Today, I appreciate you. I appreciate you took the time for yourself to say, find out what's going on today. Today is the day. Right now is the moment. There's something that God is calling you to do right now, and you got to do it. You got to be about your father's business today. Do not delay. As soon as you get finished this broadcast, part of that was for you to sign on to this broadcast. As soon as you get finished this broadcast, you go do what God called you to do. Go look up that new job assignment. Go search out that new school. Whatever it is, the right now is the day. How do you deal with the wife that is truly loved but has a really bad drinking problem? Oh, my goodness. Brother, I've been there, not with my wife, but I know. How do you deal with that? First of all, you start with love, man. you got to love her into the right place. And then I know you love her because you, you wouldn't even put that up there, my brother. This, this is the day. This is what you're going to do today. Today, you're going to look up some people that can help. Now, I know for a fact I've been working with the 12-step program, with the um, Alcoholic Anonymous program. You want to get that big blue book. It's the big blue book. And you're going to be, um, I'm going to say, I want to get this big blue book. I want to see, I want to start reading it for myself to find out what the real issues of alcoholism is. Because there are some real issues that only the people who've been dealing with that can really know how to handle that. So you're going to get that big blue book. You're going to apply it. And this is the day. This is the day. You're not going to wait for any time. You can go anywhere. Look up uh, alcoholism now. Tell them you want to purchase the big blue book. And you're going to get into that book. And then you're going to start reading that book for yourself. And then you're going to become the support that your, per your wife needs. You're going to be praying in your spirit, my friend. You're going to be praying, God, 
You're not going to be talking to her, why don't you stop drinking, stop doing that. That does not work. You're going to tell them something, that does not work, my friend. I already did. I tried that with my friend. It doesn't work. What you're going to be doing is praying in your own quiet place, saying, God, help me to help my wife today. My wife needs help today. Now, thank you for letting me uh, come on to Pastor O to find out about this big blue book of Alcoholic Anonymous, that inside there, there are testimony after testimony after testimony of people who got actually free from alcoholism. Man, it's serious, but they, and they get on the right path. I know a man who celebrated 25 years of sobriety just a couple of days ago. You can do that too. I hope that you will take advantage of this day. It was no coincidence, my friend, that you came on this line today. Today is your day. Now is the right now moment. As soon as this black course is over, and I'm going to end it in a few minutes, what I want you to do is to go look up Alcoholic Anonymous, the AA somewhere, get the big blue book, and maybe you can also get the 12 traditions, but I want to start with something simple. Get the big blue book, study it for yourself, my friend, read it, read it, and pray. And then at the right time, at the right moment, encourage your wife to go to that place. Oh, I appreciate it. Um, show me something. I'm so glad you got it. Because pants join. I'm glad you're here because pants. I'm dealing with t today's topic is today is the day, right now is the moment. And I was sharing with you that uh, some people are in tyranny over yesterday. Oh, they so mad. Tur yesterday was bad. It was a messed up day yesterday. I don't know what it was. It was messed up for that individual. It was a great day for me, but for that individual, it was messed up. But they brought the, they brought the corpse, they brought yesterday in, on their back like a dead person into the day. They woke up saying, oh, yesterday was all toe up, but I'm bringing that into the day. That's a problem. Do not bring yesterday's baggage into today. Today is a new day. God has given you a new day and that day is net here. God has given you a new time and that time is right now. You can start something different. Today, the Spirit of God led you to this moment so you can hear this word. This is for you, my friend. Get that yesterday baggage. Leave it there. Uh, what I say? Put it down. Leave it there and pick up today. Right now is the time. Today is the day of what they call deliverance or salvation. Right now is your right now moment. And my friend, if you join today, please pick up some kind of ancient scripture somewhere where it's got the Bible in it. And big, big, pick up Psalm 118. Two women, whoever you are, read Psalm 118. It's full of wonderful positivity. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the glory of God. Good to see you, L. Gavin. I'm glad you joined. Uh, J. Gavin, I'm so glad you're here, man. I'm talking about this thing right here. I'm talking about today is the day, and right now is the moment. A lot of people hold that for some other time and for some other place. Ooh, I got some light. A lot of people hold it for some other time and for some other place, but that is for us right here and right now. Today is the day. I was sharing with my friend who came on to ask me about how can he help his wife 